Naoya, the monster Inoue, one of the best pound for pound boxers in the world today, versus Aran Dipaen. Who do y'all think is going to win this fight? Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video, it helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So uh, this fight between Inoue and Dipaen uh, is scheduled for 12 rounds in the bantamweight division with Naoya Inoue defending his IBF and WBA bantamweight titles on the 14th of December, December 14, 2021, live over in Tokyo, Japan. So far, at the time I'm making this video, um, there hasn't been a US network that has been announced for this fight. For the, So for us US fight fans, uh, it's looking like we will have to uh, wait till it's on YouTube or something or watch through some you know crappy ass live stream. Um, but so far, no, nothing yet. Hopefully, ESPN will pick it up and show us this fight because why not? In the West, one of the best pound for pound boxers in the world. Yes, he's going in there against Aaron Depay and a 30 year old fighter from Thailand who never people, nobody here has heard about. Who has a record of 12 wins, two losses, 11 of those wins coming by way of Nakar TKO. Uh, but you know, this is the best fight available for Inoue at the moment. Um, you know, a lot of fighters, uh, a lot of top fighters have fights going on. Casimiro has a fight coming up this weekend. Same for Nonito Donaire. So, uh, you know, in a way, can't fight for, can't fight a big name at the moment. So here he is staying busy, staying busy in a fight against Aaron Depayan. 22nd professional fight for Inoue, coming off a win against Michael Desmarinas, his mandatory challenger. And um, yeah, does Aaron Depayan even have a chance in this fight? I mean, if you go watch his fights, uh, there's I think there's some clips of it here on YouTube. Um, the guy has that typical uh, Muay Thai style boxing from Thailand. And that style is just perfectly made for Naoya Inoue. He's going to come forward. He's going to be wide open for Inoue to outbox, outpunch. Uh, Inoue, it, there's a reason why Inoue is called the monster, man. He's going to be too strong, too fast, too skilled for Aaron Depayan. I don't know how Aaron Depayan is ranked in the top uh, considered the top 15 under I think the IBF uh, if you go to the rankings he's number six under the IBF I don't know how that's not make sense but you know he's up there in the rankings somehow and uh, in a way we'll be fighting him uh, like I said Donair has a fight against Gabalio Janriel Casimiro has a fight against Paul Butler um, uh, so yeah that there's a reason why he can't fight the champions at the moment uh, all of them are are busy so should be an easy win for Naoya Inoue. I'll be shocked and embarrassed. It will be upset of the year if Depayan somehow pulls it off. If Depayan wins this fight, it will be the upset of the freaking decade. Uh, <laughs> no way is arguably a top three. I th uh, I have him at number three uh, or number four. I'm not sure. He's, th he's top five. Definitely top five. Naoya Inoue, if he loses this fight, holy cow. Yo, that, that yeah, that would... That would change a lot of things. That would, cha that would change the whole division at 118 pounds. But anyway, looking forward to it though. I'll still watch. Um, a lot of people will shit on it, this and that. But you know, to me, at least the way I look at it, at least in the West still fight. At least he's fighting. He could have easily just not fight this year and wait till next year. But at least he's fighting. So let me know your thoughts and comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.